Ah, oh, kia ora whanau. It's been a while. <laughs> just thought I would drop in and, uh, yeah, just give a little bit of an update of where I'm at on my journey. And, um, yeah, just I've been having a chat with a few people and, you know, they just sort of hitting me up. Bro, you haven't posted for a while and, yeah, I just, I've just been away in my own little world, man. I've just um, gone off social media a little bit, just sort of knuckling down. Um, I'm now full-time employed, um, civil foreman. So I'm a foreman for a pretty big company here in Christchurch. Um, and that has been a journey just all all on its own, eh? Like, because um, I had a, I, this will be my third job, third job year. Um, my first job was good, but I left that because I wanted to get onto something bigger. And then I went to another company and um, I really struggled because I was a foreman there too. And I really struggled with uh, my anger and just how to talk to people, eh? Because I was a foreman with them also. And um, dealing with people in a non-confrontational way is not a strong point of mine. Um, if people are not listening, I tend to be like, bro, are you going to open your tardiness? Which two years? <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I find that I found that I was getting frustrated quite easy with people that didn't listen and stuff like that. And, yeah, old Hamish's old ways would sort of come back and I'd be like, bro. <laughs> and, you know, and these people would be like, oh, um, oh, I find Hamish very intimidating. So, yeah, that's, oh, my wife's just walked in the door. She's just put my train of thought off. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just thought I would give an update of where I'm at and still going strong. Um, haven't even thought of going back to that life. Um, yeah, just no way, man. Like, it's, nah. Especially now, you know, you put on the news and you see out there and shootings left, right and centre. Like, that's no life, man. That is no life for anyone. And, yeah, it's... But, anyway, get back to... Mahi, which is work, and um, along the journey since returning back to work, I have, I've met a lot of people too on sites, and um, and a lot of guys that have just come from jail and stuff like that, and you know, they, everybody deserves happiness, regardless of your past, man, and the one thing I found was speaking to the people that had just sort of come out of jail and stuff, they lack self belief, eh? Like, you know, they, they, just having a general corridor to them, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, next time, and you know, I'm like, next time, I'm like, bro, you don't need to go back there, you know, but for some reason, it's people have just got stuck in their head that that's just life and that's just the way it is, you know, they're born into it or whatever your stance is in life. You can turn it around. You can turn it around. If I can, and I'm not the brightest guy around, you sure as shit can too, you know? But it takes discipline, you know? Like, you can't just go off and do the things that you would normally do. Like, I had an argument, you know, with a follower on site, and um, I ended up giving him a bit of a slap, which I know is definitely wrong. At the time, it was... It, not really a slap, it was just like a, hey, <laughs> you know, but, and I shouldn't laugh because it's not acceptable behaviour. And since returning back to work, I've really had to look at myself with the way I engage with people and the way that I talk, which I never thought that that was a problem, you know, and, um, yeah, I just, once I got disciplined for that little I sort of whacked the phone out of the fella's ear and um, yeah, we had a heated argument and I just, I just went off. I was like, ah, oh, you're fucking this, you're fucking that. <laughs> and it was just not cool for me. Um, and the reason I share it with you guys is because we're not perfect, you know. A lot of us are trying to change and a lot of us are trying to fit back into normal society as well, you know, and um you don't realise that you do these things until it's actually brought to your attention, like, hey, mate, you can't talk to people like that, you know? And 
we had to have meetings about this stuff that sort of happened on site. You know, we had to have a meeting about it and then another meeting and a meeting and meeting. And then I had to read the um, statements of the people that seen what happened and stuff. And like, it just really hit home, eh? Like, I read it back and I was just like, fuck. I sound like a little kid that's just fucking sort of lost his toys, eh? And um, throwing his toys out of the cop. And, but in my mind, because someone had overstepped my boundary first reaction was hey hey you know but it's not the right reaction which some people you know will watch us and be like oh no shit that's not the right reaction but uh, but when you have lived with violence at the forefront of you for a long time and you're ready to go at any time because it can happen and then to make that transition and while you're trying to change everything else You've got to mentally change that too. And um, I never knew that until, yeah, until I said like I had been disciplined for what happened at work. And um, and so because of the history there, I just went, oh, yeah, I'm just going to move on to another job. Um, and to be fair, I was going to get, I was going to be let go, but just, just because... Um, yeah, well, you can't do that, eh? And you can't nut out at people and stuff. And I know this is just common sense for a lot of people. But, um, yeah, you know, when you've spent years and years of your life being the boss, <laughs> and, you know, people are not really challenging your ways and, like, no one's really pulling you up, you know? Just for years and years, everybody just went with what I had done and what I said and, and just, you know, so there was lessons learned in that too. Because at the time when I was being told off, I was like, man, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. I, and like, I was nearly going to lose it again. But my wife actually was like, nah, babe, you know, you just, you can't be like that, you know. And it's been good. It's been a very humbling experience because I've had to sit there and take it. But what's the best thing for me? Because now I can readjust that and now I'm more conscious of how I'm speaking and how I'm reacting to things, you know, because it hasn't really been brought to my attention before, you know, like I know that after it, you know, I think, oh man, what do I do that for? Just very fast to react. Um, but my new thing is be, be, uh, be fast to think and slow to react. So yeah, and now I've taken on another form and role and I'm uh, currently doing my my apprenticeship through uh, Kinexus. So I'm doing civil apprenticeship just to get, just because there are things in the civil game that I don't know. Um, I've done my building apprenticeship, so I know from the ground up and now I'm learning from the ground down. So then I'll have a wide variety of construction skills. So the um, reason for doing my apprenticeship at, 30, at 36 is because the more knowledge, the more papers you got, the more tickets you got, the more money you can ask for at the end of the day, you know? The more skills you got, the more money you can ask for. So I'm very uh, career-driven at the moment just because I haven't really been focused on, on mahi, you know, my whole life. I've just been um, ah, the easy money and, uh, you know, just wheel and deal and bikes and cars and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, it, it's it's I'm learning a lot of discipline, which is very good, very good because then I can apply it to everywhere else. Eh? And um, yes, I just thought I'd share that anyway, Fano, because people have been asking for an update. That is it. Um, yeah, just mahi and strong, man, and um, focusing on my Fano. As usual, like, it's still the same same goal as, as you know, happy Fano being a present father for my kids. Um, yeah, trying for another one. So, yeah, that's where I'm at, Fano. And... Yeah, if if you've come from that side that I was, that a lot of us were on, but we've managed to make the changes, you've just got to believe in yourself, man. And I know I say, and I sort of know, I, I know I've said it on previous videos and that, but you've got to believe in yourself and you've got to really knuckle down, you know, like you've got to turn off the external noises. And I know that's easier said than done, but if you don't turn those external noises off, meaning like... Um, what's just life just like 
general life can just get you down. We know that, you know, no money and stuff like that. The world's getting harder, you know, as we know, but it's up to us to get, I reckon, mentally harder too. Um, and this is only my opinion, of course. In some ways, I think we've got mentally weak, man, and, and like, you know, we're, we're, we're too in touch with feelings. We've got feelings for this, feelings for that, and, you know, I don't want to do that because I don't feel like it. It's, what is that shit? It, it, it's, it's not right. If you've got something to do, make a plan and do it, regardless of how you're feeling. Do it. Don't, oh, no, I don't feel like it today. I'm not going to do it. That, you, you're going to get nowhere with that attitude, man. And I see that's where a lot of our young people are just, oh, I can't do it. Oh, it's too hard. Or, uh, like, are you for real? If you don't try, you're going to stay in the same spot, you know? And, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, darling. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that there, Fano, and uh, yeah. Hope everyone's well. Love, light, and happiness. Um, and I'm going to start doing a few more of these videos yeah, as well. Uh, yeah, just because I've got a few topics that I want to touch on. And if you guys have any topics that you want me to touch on, I'm more than happy to talk about it if I have experience in the field. Yeah. All right, Fano. Love, light, and happiness, man. Let's go.